Hey there, Falcons fans. I am DJ Shockley. Thank you guys for joining me. This is Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. Got a couple plays from the Chiefs game I want to break down, and I want to jump into the red zone. Both teams were pretty good in the red zone. Combined three or four. I want to talk about the play design and how you kind of recognize some things pre-snap as opposed to post-snap when you're talking about inside the red zone. Let's jump into this play here where the Falcons end up getting the football to Laquan Treadwell. Now, the first indication for Matt is, is it man or is it zone? And what tells you that? Well, you put the receiver, you, you see this bunch of set over here. That's not really going to tell you if it's man or zone yet because they can disguise it. But the guy up top, here is Hayden Hurst at the top. Your tight end, usually when he's removed outside, that can tell you if it's man or zone. But this is a corner. When a corner comes outside to guard a tight end, that tells you this is zone coverage. Now, if this safety would have went outside, that would have told you it was man. But now they have a corner outside covering Hayden Hurst. That tells you it's zone coverage. Now, the Falcons came into this particular play. Is it man or is it zone? They had two play calls on. Matt Ryan changed the play to the zone beater because they're playing zone on the other side. Now, here's the corner trail. Well, here's the route concept you're going to get. You're going to get really out in the flat, and then you're going to get – a corner right here on the backside by Gage. And then the final part of this is Treadwell is going to sit right in this little window here. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to pass this thing off. He's going to go out here when Ridley goes, and then he's going to sit outside leverage. Now you have outside leverage on this guy to beat him. They're going to try to wall him off with the corner route, and this is a perfect concept for versus zone coverage. So play gets started here. You're going to see how they try to pass it off here. Now, here's the concept here. Really comes out to the flat. He's going to take him. Now, here comes Treadwell. He has this guy already beat because of his leverage in that tight bunch set. He's just going to sit it down. This corner route by Gage is going to take him away. And now, you have a huge void where you want to throw the football. And watch your Matt's eyes. He throws this football on time. And look at this ball is out. And now, it's on Treadwell, quick, fast, and you got a touchdown play. A well-designed play, a nice job of understanding man versus zone, and that was because of the pre-snap formation with Hurst outside, and now a quick decision, and you got a touchdown inside the red zone. The Falcons were two of two in the red zone. All right, let's jump back into the red zone where the Chiefs had a really good design play as well, and again, they're trying to look for is it man or is it zone? And first off, here's another way to determine if you got man or zone if you're an offensive player here. Watch what they do. They bring Sammy Watkins in motion. As he came in motion, nobody went with him. So as he goes with him, nobody goes with him. That tells the quarterback in zone coverage. Now, here's the route concept. The Falcons are going to play a little similar zone here. Keanu here, once they go here, you got a three-way concept here. He's going to come out and run this kind of swing, kind of flat route here. And now you're going to get a vertical release that comes up here. When you get that vertical release, that forces the cornerback to step back a little bit. And then you're going to get Kelsey to come in here, and he's going to sit down right in that void. So you got three-way concept here, and you're working these three guys for the Falcons. Now, he's going to push when he comes out to the flat, but because the ball's on time, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So here's the concept that they're going to change and snap. Now, you see the difference here? Here's the vertical release here. This vertical release gets the eyes of Dion and forces him to pump his feet just a little bit. But also because he's going vertical here, he's going to back up. Terrell's going to back up just slightly so that he can see if this guy's going to come off and make a play. And here's your flat route coming out of here. You can have Keanu expand to this flat route, but then you're going to get this little hook route that's going to sit down in between Dion coming across and Terrell on the outside. And now once he gets to this spot, now look at this. This football is out of the hands of Patrick Mahomes already. And look at the routes. They're not even developed yet. You still got two receivers for the Chiefs in the same spot. But because the ball's on time, everything is really tight inside the red zone. Look how tight this is. But because Kelsey has his back to him, and because of the release from the inside, he has leverage on Terrell here, which gives him kind of the body position where he backs up against him like a basketball player. And now he has leverage. And then look at the ball come out on time and the ball zone before the Falcons can close on it. Another really good job of the Chiefs dictating the formation, understanding if it's man or zone, and then the football coming out quickly. That's a really designed play. The Falcons really didn't do much wrong, but it was a well-designed play because of the creation by Andy Reid and the Chiefs offense. Two good offenses doing some good things in the red zone. 
And that's why it was a really tight ball game. Well, thank you guys for joining me. My name is DJ Shockley, and this has been Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. See you next week.